Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to move an around an aircraft effectively when using the Easy Dock. This is something which a lot of people screw up. Uh, you'll see in videos a lot, a lot of stuttering and a lot of jitteriness when moving around an aircraft with Easy Dock. And this is something which somebody who knows how to use Easy Dock, you can tell that the, this doesn't happen. So the w reason this happens is because their Easy Dock settings are not configured correctly to allow them to move around smoothly. As you can see in mine, it's very smooth, there's no sudden jumps in camera movements or anything like that. So let's go into my Easy Dock settings and take a look at what exactly is happening behind the scenes. So now we have Easy Dock open and let's go into our options and general settings. This is where you control everything that happens within Easy Dock, ranging from the speed to the movement. So we were moving around the aircraft in that case. And there are four main things which you should take note of when you're taking care of your, your Easy Dock movements. You should take care of your mouse speed, mouse smoothness, keyboard speed, and keyboard smoothness. Now, mouse speed, this has to do with how fast your, um, your mouse moves and you, uh, your point of view moves when you're looking around an aircraft. So let's bump that up and see what happens. See, sudden, very slight movements result in high movements around the aircraft. This isn't good for videos. Now let's take, now let's bring down mouse speed back to 0 0.05 and you'll have good mouse movement. Now let's bring the smoothness down. This will result in your camera movements not being very smooth, or yeah, your camera movements not being very smooth from the point of view of the user. All right, so now we're in FSX and let's take a look at how the camera moves when I do a slight movement. See that? There's no fluidity, fluidity to how I'm moving my, cam my mouse. It just moves very suddenly. Not good for videos. All right, let's bump that smoothness back up. I'm going to return to keyboard speed in a moment, but keyboard smoothness. So right now it's at 2000. Let's see what happens when we bring it back down to very low, zero. So let's go into the simulator and let's try it out with a slight movement to the right. See, sudden movement. It's not smooth. If this is good, if you want to um, have a movement in one direction but if you're if you want to have the camera change directions mid shot it's just gonna be very unfluid and just not look very good so you don't want to have that for most times when you're recording in a video alright now let's return to keyboard speed this is a thing that in my opinion is one of the most important things that needs to be done correctly in a video uh, it's the problem which I notice the most. Keyboard speed affects how fast your um, the camera in general is moving in a video. So right now it's set to 0 0.482. That's moderately fast. Let's bring it up to full speed. All right, now we're in the sim. Let's do a movement to the right. See, very fast. This can be useful if you want to do like a fast shot or something like that. But in most cases. Uh, it's uh, probably a little bit too fast. So that view is very good for when you're going around in the world view. Uh, it's not typically very good for the aircraft view and it's horrible for the virtual cockpit view due to how small the virtual cockpit is. So let's go back and see what it's like when we bring this move this down to as slow as, or the speed down to as low as possible. All right, let's move to the right. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I am moving very slowly right now very slowly. This is great for up close shots, especially when you're in the virtual cockpit view or when you're right next to the aircraft and you want to focus on one single part of the aircraft. But for wide out shots like this, it's not so good. So you want to be able to figure out when you want to use these different speeds. You, can, you also should base it off of the song that you're using for the video. But if you use all these different t speeds and use all these different this and put the smoothness correctly, you can have a very effective video that doesn't have any issues with Easy Dock, just not just 
ruining the video. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something about EasyDoc today. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Other than that, for Flight Director, this has been Spencer.